you know, they would have announced it. Oh my God, something just came through about Ian Gary right now. Let's look at it. Hold on. <laughs> what are you upset? Take it like a man or take it like a lady, Layla Anna Lee. Well, why didn't you DM Ian? I did. Also, but also you guys shut down his DMs on Twitter. So I came up here to do a video about me sliding in the DMs of Layla Anna Lee. Super shady. So shady that I would do a video about it right afterwards. And I wanted to show you guys, you know, all of that and, you know, kind of put it into present, you know, like, what do, what do you, why are you DMing them? Well, I'll tell you shortly, but then this popped up on my radar. Oh my God. As I was just prepping for it, it was like, Khabib's coach reveals Khabib's come back uh, with these actively training update on his comeback. I'm like, come on, dude, don't pretend that that's real. And then I watched it and I was like, oh my God, <laughs> please God, let this be real. So we're going to go through that. We're going to discuss this new report that Makashev says he's fighting Gaethje in June. UFC didn't say anything about it. Gaethje didn't say anything about it. I don't think that makes any sense. I already told you the rumor that I heard about Gaethje. So I don't know what he's talking about. But we're going to talk about that rumor. And then we're going to do the Ian Gary thing. Because also there is a, uh, a reel that I want to show you guys. I think uh, I'm expecting the reaction to the DM part for people to be like, you're going soft, son. I'll be like, going soft? Are you serious? And then I'm going to show you the real. I'm going to show you. You'll be like, never mind. <laughs> Definitely not going soft because that is one of the funniest things we've ever seen. So that's basically what we're going to do. Now, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, why don't you go ahead and do that? We'll handshake it. I will show you a really funny reel and you will subscribe and help me grow the channel. And also like this video if you enjoy me teasing Ian Gary. You know, someone who I don't hate. I don't hate him. I don't hate his wife. I just really enjoy teasing them. And this reel that, oh my God, my buddy Jojo sent it to me is so funny. Anyway, so like the video, subscribe to the channel and we will rock and roll. But we are going to start with what ultimately became the bigger story of the two. And we're going to go from there. Let's rock and roll. Oh, wait, I have to tell you about the sponsor of this video, which is Yo Kratom. Yo Kratom is the source of the best bulk Kratom on the internet, $60 kilograms. You guys are going to love it. It gets to your house in two days. If you're a daily Kratom user, you will not find a more economically viable and delivered, uh, what's uh, consistently reliable delivery than Yo Kratom. So check them out. Love you guys. And I love Yo Kratom. They just signed on for another year. So I love them. All right. So let's do the following. I really do use their service though. I mean, this is the only bulk Kratom I buy. All right. So let's rock and roll and let's watch this and then let's discuss. <music> He's always trained, always right. trained. This is Jose right. Mendez. But he's never trained with me. You understand? Mm -hmm. He's been training, but he's never trained with me. Only when he fights, he trains with me. That I can tell you. Right. Whether he fights or not, I don't know. But he's training with me. So you can take that for what it's worth. But I don't know. I know he's training with me. I, I know that. You know, I, I, we have video. <laughs> the bottom line is we're training. And, and, and he's, you know, he, he always trains though. But the key thing, he never trains with me. Right. That's the key thing though. But that doesn't mean he's fighting. That just means he's, he's preparing thinking. for potential. He's definitely, right. he's, he's, he's got his feet in the water. He hasn't dived in though. His right. feet are in the water. He hasn't dived in. I know this, he's training with me because I'm training him, you know, I know that. And he says, coach, this time we have more time to work because I'm not in fight mode yet. Yet. Mm. So what does that mean? What does that mean? Let's go, dude. Let's go, son. Please, if there is a God in heaven, let that be real. Now, here is the question to ask yourself. When people start talking like that, right? Like people just, you know, people start talking, saying things. How, uh, what's the way to put this? Uh, is it all BS? Is it? I don't think it is, dude. Why would Mendez say a thing like that? Why would he say that he's training with me now? Maybe he's not all the way back, but he said yet. I mean, you know what I'm saying? This is how these things start. This is how these things start. Now, where would Khabib go back to if he did come back, ask yourself that question. Would he come back for a bunch of fights or would he come back for one fight? Would it be a super fight? Who would he fight? What weight class? Because if you guys haven't heard, his teammate, brother, and you know, you know, a heterosexual life partner is the current 
lightweight champion. So, you know, and he wants to go up to welterweight. So we can't just assume that Khabib would go to welterweight. And win. Can you imagine? Can you imagine if Khabib came back and just immediately fought for the title at, at, at welterweight? I don't, I can't, I actually, I can't even imagine the numbers that that would do. Oh my God. Can you imagine? Like now let's, if Connor fought Chandler and the winner of that fight fought Khabib, let's just say, I mean, you know, I love Chandler obviously, but just in terms of like the, the pay-per-view numbers, can you imagine if Connor won that fight and then they immediately did a super fight against Khabib? Try to envision the numbers that that would do. Just try it. Try to envision the numbers that would do. Also, how about this rumor that Islam Makashev is saying that he's going to fight Justin Gaethje in June and then fight the winner of Sarukian and Oliveira later on in the year. So uh, we got to address that because I told you guys on the channel the rumor that I heard about what fight was in the works for Justin Gaethje. And uh, I don't, I just, I don't, mm, no. I don't, I don't think that this makes sense. Uh, I don't think this makes sense. Islam says it, but fighters can say whatever they want because the reality is the rumor I heard came from a pretty credible source, dude, that they were working on uh, Gaethje and Max Holloway for BMF at UFC 300. Who knows? Like I said, I mean, it was obviously not done, you know, or they would have, uh, you know, they would have announced it. Oh my God, something just came through about Ian Gary right now. Let's look at it. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> God, dude. People are so ruthless online, dude. Is, they are absolutely ruthless, dude. All right. So anyway, uh, but so like I said, I heard this rumor about Holloway and Gaethje UFC 300 uh, for the BMF belt. Obviously, nothing is done until it's announced. So you don't know whether it's a, but Makashev like, oh yeah, I'm just going to fight in June against Gaethje and then I'm going to fight the winner of Sarukian and Oliveira after that. It's like, no, you're not. You know, no, you're not. Now, I mean, the only reason I say that, not, nothing against Islam or anything, but it's like the UFC already said that the winner of Charles and Sarukian is fighting against Islam Makashev. That's what they said. They didn't say they're fighting against the winner of Gaethje and Makashev. They said that's a number one contender fight, which means Islam is not fighting anyone else between now and then. You know what I mean? Like, Islam can say whatever he wants. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to fight in June, then I'm going to fight after that. And it's like, ah, not if the UFC doesn't want you to, you know? And I didn't see Gaethje say anything about it, like, afterwards either, which is relatively telling, because I know he wants to, I mean, you know, he obviously wants to fight for the title, you know, unless the UFC is going to play him twice as much to fight for BMF and then potentially give him a shot at Conor McGregor in the event that both of them win, you know, I mean, there's that, right? There's that. A headliner against Conor McGregor for the BMF belt? Do you have any idea how much money he'll make? So much money that he might even prefer to go that route than to fight for the title because uh, he'd have to sit out for a long time anyway. All right, so that is what we got there. Now let me set this thing up to talk about Ian Gary's lady, the DMs, and the funniest reel I've ever seen. So I guess a good place to start would be to discuss why would I DM Layla Anna Lee? Here is the answer to that question, okay? So I saw a reel and I was like, oh my God. This is so funny. I want to show it to everyone. But it definitely like surpassed a level to where I'm like, this is like, they might be pretty mad about this one, dude. Like this, they might be like legit mad. So should I not show it to people? It's like, no, that's, that's not what you do. You have to show it to them. I'm like, God damn, I know I do have to show it. Well, how can you not be insanely disrespectful while simultaneously showing the reel. It's like, I just think I need to let them know that I think they're doing really well and that I think that every time I tease them, it's good for their career, right? Like, you know, it's like, look, I'm not gonna show you the, the actual reel, but that's exactly what I said. Or, you know, the DM, like basically if I was going to summarize it, it's like, I think you guys are doing great. I think Ian Gary's gonna be the champion. I do totally fuck with you guys all of the time. Like all of the time. I definitely fuck with you guys all the time, but I don't hate you. I heard Ian say that he thinks people hate him. I don't hate him at all. I'm teasing him and I'm teasing you, period. And so I figure now when I show you the, <laughs> the next reel, <laughs> maybe those two things offset each other, dude. 
Here's the thing, dude. I actually am very sensitive to bullying people. I don't want to feel like I'm bullying people. There's a basically a 0% chance he's even going to see the message, right? So like, you know what I mean? She's not going to see it, right? Like, she's not going to see it. She's not going to see it. She's not going to see it. Uh, but that said, uh, I'm going to show it anyway. <laughs> Not me. I'm going to show the real. Like I'm going to show the. Like I'm saying, she's not going to see the DM. I'm going to show the real. I don't think that. Like, I guess if they see me, sh- okay. Say what you're trying to say. If they see that I showed this real, then they will also see that I DM'd her, and then they will read the DM and they will go, okay. At least he's being like, hey, I'm not trying to be like the biggest dick on earth. They can still be super mad, but at least I've put it out there like directly, where it's like. I'm not just like completely bullying you. Okay, so that's the preamble. Now I'm going to show you the real. (laughs) Can't believe I'm showing this, dude. Okay, uh, so uh, I guess, here, let me do this. This and go like this. So this is from T-Rex 155. And you see that it says, who's that in the background? (laughs) And uh, this is, like, I guess... People didn't hear this uh, when he originally did the interview. So here's the real. Mentions me, my wife, and my family in that way. I'm going to get my hands up. And in an ideal world, towards the end of the year, I don't think Sean Strickland's going to be the world champion anymore. And I believe there's absolutely an opportunity for me to step into the middle way and give him a hiding. And maybe, maybe I'll beat him so bad that he'll forget all that trauma from his child. Mentions me, my wife... Oh my God. The internet is amazing, dude. Yeah. So, uh, listen, uh, when I put, you know, like, Hey, I know I'm about to put a reel up that implies that your nutritionist was on your wife and the mother of your kids while you were doing that interview. But like, I don't mean anything by it. You know, what are you upset? Take it like a man or take it like a lady, Layla Anna Lee. Well, why didn't you DM Ian? I did. Also. But also, you guys shut down his DMs on Twitter. So, But I did. Okay? So don't take it personal. I mean, Jesus. Am I the one who's making these? Is it me? Huh? Honey, did you see the video that I made defending you? <laughs> Oh my God. I don't know if the two things offset each other. I really don't like, uh, you know, Hey, I'm not trying to bully you. And then, but I'm going to show this on the channel. So anyway, that's what I got. I love you guys. Subscribe to the channel, ring the bell. Bye-bye.